Next up, we're going to talk downcountry bikes. Can you do that outro again? Yeah. Don't look at you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Max, am I supposed to be doing the outro now? <laughs> Hey everybody and welcome back to the cross country field test and today it's round table time and we're talking race bikes. Sarah Moore has been on the all new specialized Epic, the new Cannondale Scalpel, Trex Super Caliber and Canyons Lux. Special guest today, Mike Casimer all the way from down in the States. He really wanted to be up here wearing Lycra with me but he's trapped in the States, the border's closed. So today he's moderating the conversation via the computer. That's right, the magic of the internet. I'm really sad I couldn't wear Lycra and sprint around the woods with you. I'll come down and visit you soon, Kaz, and we'll uh, we'll have a little Lycra ride together. All right, well, let's just kick things off with the question everyone wants to know. Sarah, what was your favorite bike out of these four? So I think that I really like the Specialized Epic, that modern geometry, really forgiving traction-wise, it's really efficient. But the Cannondale Scalpel, I just thought that the suspension was a little bit more uh, predictable on longer days. Mm -hmm. And I think it's just the bike that I would feel the most comfortable with if I had to, you know, tow the start line. Yeah. World Cup races are really gnarly these days, you know? Mm -hmm. People kind of underestimate what these people are doing because they're wearing Lycra, they're not wearing, you know, knee pads, and you don't have a full face, so you think that the train is too easy. Mm -hmm. Canyon Lux, probably not my first choice. A little bit more, you know, not quite as uh, easy to ride on the steeper stuff. The traction is not quite as good. I mean, if I wanted to go ride a uh, nine mile hill intervals, maybe that's the bike I would choose, but it's not my favorite thing to do. So so Sarah, that leads into the next question. Out of all these bikes, was the, the Lux is your least favorite? Yeah. For a couple things, I think that suspension was just not as active. It didn't use that hundred millimeters of travel really well. I really felt like I was kind of beaten up each time I went out on that bike. Handlebar is really narrow. Uh, it just didn't feel modern. It had that really long stem and then that lockout combination with the dropper post. Mm -hmm. Also just really frustrating to ride it. So yeah, I think Canyon Lux is an easy one that for me that I don't, you know, I don't really want to spend more time on that bike. So the scalpel is your favorite. The Lux, maybe your least favorite or definitely your least favorite, but is there any of these bikes that you want to spend some more time on? So you felt like you're kind of starting to figure it out, but need a little bit more time to really dive into it? Yes. I think that Specialized Epic, I'm really excited about it. And I think that just because I've been doing back-to-back -back testing with all these other bikes, the brain is just takes a little bit mm -hmm. more time to get used to. And also if you're riding it, you know, on its own, it'll be easier to get used to instead of going back and forth with more traditional uh, full suspension bikes. So Sarah, the Epic versus the Scalpel, the geometry numbers aren't that far off, but the Epic does have that brain feature, kind of the uh, inertia valve basically that gives it a different feel. Is that what you felt like kind of made you pick the Scalpel over the Epic? Yeah, I think it's awesome that the brain that you don't have to think and you don't have to use a lockout ever. Mm -hmm. It's a super clean handlebar. And then, yeah, when you're really tired, you don't really want to have to remember to unlock your suspension before you go into a downhill, something technical. Definitely been in the situation where you get to the top of the hill and then you forget to unlock it. And then halfway down the hill, you're like, I am really extra sketchy on my cross country bike, which was hard enough to ride in the first place. So if you don't have to think about that, that's awesome. So I think the Specialized Brain does a lot of things right. And I look forward to spending more time on it. Which was the fastest bike out of these? And that's, let's say, factor in the efficiency. Um, based off the efficiency test and just your overall lap time, which was the fastest. On the efficiency test, the Canyon Lux, was the fastest out of all of these bikes. Specialized Epic was uh, six seconds slower, I think, if we remember yep. correctly. Yep. And so on the time lapse, it was interesting because it was almost like complete flip of that. Mm -hmm. So the Canyon Lux was actually my slowest on the time lap. And then the Specialized tied for second place. And it was the Cannondale Scalpel that, uh, with that really yeah. active forgiving suspension that was fastest on our pretty technical Rudy test yeah. course. I think that's a good example of some real world testing. You know, that fire road, climb that we use for the efficiency test it's not i mean it's out there in the real world but it's not really how it is and mm -hmm. it won that test but on our timed loop when we're on single track it's tricky it's slippery it didn't fare so well mm -hmm. and yeah. that's where you're gonna like make up more time on a cross-country race right. is on the stuff that's you know a little yeah. bit more difficult now that you've got a kind of really experienced I mean, these are all these bikes are built as world cup capable race bikes where do you see the future of this going like is do you think 
kind of the more forgiving bikes are the future, you know, dropper posts and that type of thing. It's kind of, kind of like the category that Levy's going to be talking about, but do you think there's certain things in the, in all these four bikes that really stand out that that you really liked as far as where this is going? You know, the Canyon and the Trek Super Caliber, we might see them getting a little bit mm -hmm. slacker head tube angle, a little bit longer reach, but I don't think we're going to see, you know, drastic changes in this category because it's racers. Yep. They're, you know, tried and true. But, I mean, there's tons of like athletes that are superstitious. If you've been winning on one bike, do right. you want it to be totally different? And also like a mass start race, you do still need that nimble handling when you're like 160 people in mm -hmm. some of those men's races, like 85, 100 women in the women's field. Uh, you need to be able to like wind through people, make quick decisions. And, uh, you know, a, a shorter bike is going to be better at that. So we've got your favorite, your least favorite, the one you want to spend some more time on. But was there a bike that surprised you? Was the bike that you maybe went in with a few preconceived notions and it really surprised you when you actually took it out on the trail? I would say that Cannondale Scalpel, I did not expect to come out of this and have that one mm -hmm. be my favorite bike out of all of them. And then, I mean, as a category, like overall, I was surprised that I felt as comfortable as I did, you know, riding the descents on these. Uh, you know, 10 years ago when I raced cross country races, I was not as comfortable on Very the descents, different like now. different bikes, much yeah. shorter. Um, and so we look at these bikes now and, you know, if you're riding a trail bike or an enduro bike, you're like, whew, those are, you know, dated numbers. But if you look at cross country race bikes 10 years ago, mm -hmm. like we should have been wearing like full faces and knee pads right? and- <laughs> Putting our life on the line every exactly. time we go to a race. Yeah, yeah. So these right. bikes just feel as a category so much more comfortable and in, you're in control. All right, so that is it for the round table discussion for the cross country race bikes in our field test. I'm gonna tape Kaz to my bike and I think we're gonna go for a ride together, a little tandem ride. Are you okay with that, Kaz? I'm gonna put some lycra. I wanna be the front. Oh, I'm gonna put some <laughs> lycra on. All right, let's hit it. <laughs>